Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Thursday, uh, July 16th, and I know, am I just too, a little too happy for pandemic, for this new shutdown? Yeah, I probably am, but the point I'm trying to make is it's a choice. And right this minute, the here and now, it's always, always, always the here and now. And the here and now, I'm fine. So why I do this is so that I could give you this little tiny break. If you're following me live or if you're on a replay on YouTube, tell all your friends I'm on YouTube, by the way. YouTube channel, changes change. Whatever time of day, whatever day that you're watching this, I do this because I firmly believe that just this five minute stop is it regroups. It groups regroups your life. Hi Maureen. So you get to regroup just in this five minutes. So whatever you're going through, you might after this five minutes be miserable still. You might be happy. It changes something. It changes our chemistry to stop for five minutes. This is a tough, tough time. And I am aware of that. And if anyone is having problems with this shutdown, the pandemic, and the insanity, don't hesitate to contact me. Um, I don't think I can make it worse. I don't think. It's possible. But uh, I might be able to give you some tips on how to change yourself inside. You know what? We probably cannot change one thing, the reality of our Exist of the of life today the reality of the pandemic it's not our fault and we can't fix it but i can fix my insides how i'm dealing with it i could be hysterical i could say okay carol let's stop let's just do this we can do this Wh whatever and if you have kids it's worse and let me know okay meanwhile well, i think we might finish change this change today if I shut up, we might. So yesterday, you know, we, we were talking about moving on. It was perfect for yesterday. And we said, you know, continue. Need to keep our mental and emotional health fit. So I'm repeating the, this last page I read before I move on. And continued inventories and practice forgiveness and tend to the marble bag. So I'm moving on to that today. Starting with forgiveness. I might have said this yesterday too, but I'm going to repeat it. Forgive. Here's the short story on forgiveness. I think I did. Because there's a lot of work you can do on forgiveness. But I'm, hi, Jerry. Hi, Rhonda. Here's the short story on forgiveness in Changeless Change. It's all about you. Yes. You absolutely have the right to stay angry with someone. You also have the right to stick your finger in a light socket. And the point would be, to forgive is so very awesome. When you forgive, the bad guy is no longer in charge. Imagine that. And you get to take your power back. So um, it's a process, and I know some are saying never, but how? Every once in a while, I am able to just let go of a person, place, or event when I need to. However, more often, it takes work. I try one thing at a time and I just keep at it until I just know I'm not re-feeling my anger or my hurt. Because I know it's only destroying me. Zapping me of my power. I want my power, all of it, especially in these bad times. So this is a perfect time to work on forgiveness. All those, even the people you would never forgive. You do it for you, not for them. You're not saying, oh, it's okay what you did. And it's never okay. But you're being hit, you're being... Forgiving that they did it to you so you can free you. The freedom is for you. Me. That's who I want to be free from. And if I never forgive you, then I'm all like, Ugh. no, I want to be light. I want to fly. So I wish for them all the happiness, wellness, and success I would want for myself. I write it out 70 times, seven times. Their name, blank, blank, I forgive you for blank, blank. Yes, 70 times a day for seven days. But that's actually my last resort one. Contact me if you want all the simpler things I do first. But first, actually, is forgive myself. Now, what is this marble bag we must tend to? The marble bag. Now, there's a, here's a picture of a marble bag. Regular, old-fashioned marble bag, okay? Did you ever wonder why you sometimes lose it over the smallest, insignificant th event? It's because your marble bag is full. That happens when we don't deal with issues as they come up. 
because we don't have time or it really isn't that big a deal. Those are the ones that get me, the little things. Think of every irritation you ignore as a little marble. You stuff it away in the marble bag, which is my gut. One day you try to put another little marble in the bag and it's already overflowing with marbles, the unattended little issues. Then, pow! The fireworks explode because there is no more room in the marble bag. So stay fit, keep up the good work you have started. It's often painful to part with our friends in the attic. And if you're new to this broadcast, the attic is the subconscious. I have shed many tears in this process, but those tears are so healing. They're like a shower for my soul. And as you do the work of dumping useless stuff out of your attic, you'll begin to feel lighter and lighter. The, the journey from darkness into the light is ongoing as you grow and change, but hopefully you have found or will find soon as I have, the reward is greater than the pain. Now, I may have read that yesterday, but if I did, it must be because it's, I must be re-reading it because it's important. It's, bad. it's a hard time. Life, re- this one I like. Life really is fair. Really is fair. Yes, we do get what we give. Hence the age old adage, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I know some people do not believe this to be true because it is not clear how it works. I once had a very limited and narrow vision of this myself. I believe you should give me whatever I gave you. Treat me as I treated you. A gives to B, therefore B should give back to A. It might work that way once in a while, but that is round. Picture a spinning merry-go-round. See, a mer- remember these merry-go-rounds? You ever see these? Oh, they don't have them on playgrounds anymore, I don't think. Now visualize throwing something onto it. You have absolutely no idea where it will fly off, but it will. And that is how it works. I never know where or when or how what I put out there, bad as well as good, will come back to me, but it will come back to me. A female executive discovers that her husband has been lying to her about some of his activities. She's devastated because she has never lied to him and always believed in the golden rule. However, she often lies to her co-workers, her subordinates, and friends. That's how it works. We do get what we give always. Communication skills will help you along your way. Oh, communication. So, oh boy. I thought we would end this today. But you know what? For sure we'll end it tomorrow because my seven minutes is up because I talk so much. Tomorrow we're going to talk a little bit a little bit about communication. Just short. I make it, I make it simple, right? Thank you, everyone, who showed up today. And remember, it's also on um, my YouTube channel, Changeless Change, if you want to see all of this, if you tune in late, or any of my other, I have like 45 uh, previous broadcasts there. Changes, and subscribe to my channel, like uh, Kelly Clarkson always says. Please, 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 please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. God bless. Have a wonderful day.